What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. It hasn't even been a full week since RPCSX UI Android launched, and boom, we already have the second update rolling out and it's a big one. This is a great strategy by the dev team. Instead of waiting for a long time, they're releasing small but meaningful updates, fixing bugs quickly, and improving the app based on tester feedback and suggestions. This kind of active development is exactly why RPCSX might become one of the greatest inventions in Android emulation. So, let's dive into what's new in this second release. While the team hasn't given it an official version number, let's call it V2 for now. The second update of RPCSX UI Android has arrived just days after its initial release, and it brings a lot of meaningful improvements, bug fixes, and new features that show how serious the development team is about refining this emulator. One of the key highlights of this update is the addition of input mapping support, which allows users to customize their own control layout for a more personalized and comfortable gaming experience. This feature was contributed by Ishan and is a big step forward in making the emulator more flexible for different playstyles. In addition to that, several bugs have been addressed. A crash issue related to the activity not found exception when selecting files has been fixed, and the internal directory error that appeared on the settings screen is now resolved. These fixes will make the app more stable and user-friendly. The VPad editor has also received attention issues with the control panel movement and D-pad scaling were fixed, improving the virtual gamepad functionality. Another important change includes the proper handling of app versions and build tags, which ensures that users and developers can track track updates more accurately. The APK is now also automatically deleted after an update, helping free up device storage. On the UI side, a new icon was added for the download channels setting, which itself was newly implemented. This likely allows users to manage how they receive updates or test builds. Let's launch the app. If you're new here, you can download the APK directly from the official RPCSX UI Android GitHub repository. The main interface hasn't changed much, which keeps it familiar. However, I do think they should consider adding a logo next to the RPCSX title. It would make the app look more polished and professional. Now let's head into the settings. You'll notice two major new options, download channels and controls. Let's start with download channels. What does this do? Well, it now gives you direct access to download updates and files straight from GitHub. Yes, you heard that right. RPCSX UI Android can now automatically fetch the latest updates from GitHub. GitHub. You can choose between two update types, stable release for the most reliable experience. Not only that, developer version, for early access to the latest features and experimental builds. But you can also download custom GPU drivers directly within the app, which is incredibly useful for improving compatibility and performance. Now, RPCSX supports controllers. It may have had basic controller support before, but in this release, they've introduced input mapping support. This new feature allows users to customize their own control layout, giving them a more personalized and comfortable gaming experience. Whether you're using a Bluetooth gamepad or a wired controller, you can now remap the buttons to suit your playstyle perfectly. In this update, three contributors, including DHRPCs3, have worked together to push 38 major changes with 14 commits. This kind of effort deserves real appreciation hats off to the dev team for their dedication and rapid progress. So keep an eye on our channel, stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest news. See you next time.